she's amazing. She's amazing. She's doing some incredible work, and uh, and I, I'm very proud of her every day. George and Amal Clooney are total relationship goals, and we have the proof. From their undeniable bond to the love they share for their children, these two were totally meant for each other. Before George met Amal, he was the ultimate bachelor, dating a bevy of gorgeous and talented ladies. Many, including the star himself, never thought he would get married again after his divorce with Talia Balsam in 1993. Back in 1997, he even told Access Hollywood he had no intentions of getting married or having kids. Are you still holding true blue to your I'm never getting married, never having kids? <laughs> yeah. Val? Really? Michelle yes. Pfeiffer and Nicole Kidman have 20 grand now. I, I got some cash. <laughs> I'm telling and you. And I'm taking more bitters because I figure <laughs> at this rate I won't have to work. The 58 year old's life transformed when he met Amal Alamuddin at a fundraiser in 2013 through a mutual friend. She was everything he never knew he needed and more. She was stylish, gorgeous, and smart. She's a highly respected international human rights lawyer who offered the perfect balance to George's glitzy Hollywood life. The duo were able to keep a lot of their relationship under wraps, but they were spotted occasionally out and about over the next few months. News broke in April 2014 that George had popped the question to his love. I guess when you know, you just know. George actually admitted to Ellen DeGeneres in 2016 that his proposal didn't go quite as planned. And finally, yeah, I said, you know, uh, I blew out the candle. I said, I think the lighter is in the box behind you. And she reached around, she pulls out the box, and I've got just the ring sitting in there. And she pulls it out, and she looks at it, and she's like, it's a ring. In September 2014, their highly anticipated wedding took place in Italy. It was an over-the-top, lavish affair. Tons of their celeb friends stepped out for the event, including Emily Blunt, John Krasinski, Anna Wintour, Cindy Crawford and Randy Gerber, and Matt Damon. Amal donned an Oscar de la Renta gown with an off-the-shoulder neckline. She later swapped it out for a tiered mini dress by the same designer, which made it much easier to tear it up on the dance floor. They then jetted off to London to have a party with Amal's family, and then spent some time together in the country. In 2015, George gushed to Access Hollywood that he knew Amal was the one just three days in. I think about three days in, you know, you could tell. I mean, I, I knew when I met her that she was sort of extraordinary and special, and then I thought, uh, I, and then, and then I wondered if I'd ever get a chance to date her, you know. And then, uh, and we became we were friends for a while before. And then, uh, you know, luckily she said yes. In October 2016, George gushed to Access Hollywood about their second anniversary and shared what they did on their big day. I cooked a little dinner, and we, uh, and then we went out, and, and uh, you know, we did sort of what most normal people do on their second anniversary. On top of their love for each other, in 2016, they started the Clooney Foundation for Justice. According to the official website, the foundation advocates for justice through accountability for human rights abuses across the world. The website states that the foundation has partnered with organizations that, quote, help to educate refugees, reunite children separated from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border, and litigate against groups that commit hate crimes in the United States. In February 2017, news broke that the couple were going to be parents. We actually chatted with George's good pal and the Great Wall co-star Matt Damon in February 2017, who revealed to Access Hollywood when he found out the exciting baby news on set. I was hugging him and he was kind of whispering and, I, and then I, I said, so how far along is she? And he goes, he eight weeks. And I'm like, don't say anything. Like, what are you? Oh my God. He didn't know the 12 week rule. Later that year in November 2017, George spoke to Access Hollywood at CinemaCon and gave an update about how his wife was doing amid her pregnancy with the twins. Yeah, she's doing great. She's in London and working, and uh, I'll go back there tomorrow, and, and we'll hunker down. We've got, you know, kids to have. She wins the prize for Supermom already. Yeah, she's amazing. She's amazing. She's doing some incredible work, and, uh, and I, I'm very proud of her every day. You, I'm telling you, you got that look in your eye. Total look in your eye. Are you ready to be called dad? I mean, it's... That's, yeah, it's... I was gonna, there's a joke in there, I'm just not gonna do it. Um, but yes, I am ready. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm excited. The couple welcomed their bundles of joy, Alexander and Ella, on June 6, 2017. They seemed to be over the moon about the arrival of their little ones. And it seemed that becoming a father was truly meant to be for George. The actor can't stop gushing about his love for his wife, he spoke to David Letterman in February 2018 during the comedian's Netflix special, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, and honestly, what he says will make you swoon. Before uh, I had the twins, 
I felt that about her. I felt that I met someone who I would absolutely, you know, trade uh, my life for. You know, I would, uh, I've met someone that her life meant more to me than my life. In March 2018, the couple continued to give back, pledging $500,000 to support students who are marching to demand gun control in Washington. George issued a statement that reads, our family will be there on March 24th to stand side by side with this incredible generation of young people from all over the country. And in the name of our children, Ella and Alexander were donating $500,000 to help pay for this groundbreaking event. The duo stepped out for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's fairy tale wedding in May 2018. A mall's striking yellow look and fascinator was the talk of the town. The duo spoke out in a rare joint interview with Axis Hollywood in June 2018, where they spilled deets about what went down in the reception. We did have a good time. We did. We were really happy for the bride and groom. Yeah. yeah. I think they're going to do great things in the world together. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of a game. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how does a mall know Meghan? I can't tell you that. No? No, I'm not allowed to. D. I knew it was serious. I knew it was. Okay, so we've got a game, a little game of true or false. Uh, so works. tell me, tell me this. He's like, that's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. true or false? Yeah. You played bartender. That is false. Okay, true or false? Idris Elba DJ. That is true. True. Very good. Yeah, he's a very good DJ. Okay, true or false? Serena Williams won beer pong. There was no beer pong. But she would have won. If there was beer pong, do you, do you think anyone would have beaten Serena? <laughs> in anything, right? Okay, true John or false? John thinks he can. But. True or false, you dance with Megan and Kate? Not true. Okay. Uh, there was a drink called When Harry Met Megan. No. <laughs> they also discussed their first Mother's Day as parents and life with their kiddos. That was Mother's Day? Lovely. Yeah, I got a card from, uh, from the kids, recently. Yes, a they were. Letter. The kids are very good writers at this age. <laughs> it's, it's see, it's in the blood. Oh, it is. It's They're in the blood. Better. They wrote something out. <laughs> Tell me though. I mean, the, have you had any advice for what it's like to be living life now as parents, but also with twins? What's been the best piece of it, or the missing piece of advice? Is well, there? We've met, we've met parents of twins and triplets even, and we are. Everybody gives you sort of that knowing look of like. Yep. I know. Yep. You know, but it's fun. We we love it. It's a, it's an adventure, and it's really fun. And they're great kids. From their instant connection and total devotion to each other, to how much they care for their twins, this is why George and Amal Clooney are total relationship goals.